I'm Aaron Koopman from Clinier Group, and I'm here to talk to you about the certification journey. In this phase, you have all your compliance plans agreed to with the FA by component, by system, by technical specialty, and by regulation with methods of compliance for design, test, analysis, or similarity. And now you have to collect and present that showing of compliance. In this challenging phase, uh, just knowing you have to test a product for say decompression at high altitude isn't enough. What's the maximum altitude? How quickly must the decompression occur? How do you prove to the FAA you did the test correctly and on the correct part? Also, where do you conduct the tests? The compliance tests must be conducted in FAA recognized and approved test houses. So those are some of the challenges that you face when you're uh, completing the plans. So how can Clinier help? Well, we've authored, reviewed, and received approval for thousands of artifacts, uh, the documents that contain the elements of evidence of showing the compliance to the regulatory requirements. Not only can we help you with the artifacts themselves, but we can help create templates that replicate best practices and uh, build expertise within your own organization going forward to make you better at certification. Uh, how would the Wright brothers have benefited from this? Uh, would they have kept up with it at all? Defining all the tests, the analyses, the artifacts, I believe so, because this is really where you know how much work you have in front of you and how much time and cost uh, you're going to have to put into the certification effort. Before this, you have proposals, you have plans, discussions, uh, but after this step, you really know where you're gonna test things, how many analyses you have to create, what the level of rigor has to be, how many parts uh, you need to have witnessed by the FAA, et cetera. As a result, you'll really have detailed information about how long it's gonna take and how much it's gonna cost. The Wright brothers would have had to figure out if they could afford it on their own, or maybe they had to uh, partner with maybe a well-funded uh, auto company or find a benefactor like a Vanderbilt, or maybe they would make a deal with the military for non-commercial use so they could fund their commercialization efforts. In fact, the Wright brothers did approach the military first for the first sales and use of their vehicle. I look forward to seeing you again for our final episode and our final conclusion on the benefits of the certification journey and how Collinear can help you get faster to market. Thank you. Sure.